Hello everyone, welcome to Felipe's Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at this LEGO City Set Donut Shop opening. So this set contains 709 pieces and retail 160 New Zealand dollars. It comes with this donut shop, a toy shop, a coffee bike, a taxi, a TV broadcast fan, a truck with a crane, and 10 minifigures. And now let's join the party and witness the donut shop opening. And here is the donut shop. Uh, the build itself is quite simple, but I really like the way they use this piece to create this structure here. And on the side, they also have an ATM. Uh, what's interesting is under here is actually one of this um, 100 dollar note piece. They just push it in, um, but you can't take it out. Despite being a small build, but the uh, interior really impresses me. Uh, I really like how they uh, build this fridge here. You see the donuts, cookies, and muffin. Uh, you also get a coffee machine. You got the menu up here, which is a sticker. But the interesting thing is, uh, you can see a croissant over there. Uh, but this donut shop does not serve any croissant. So the donut on top is actually a separate build and the piece here is new printed piece so it's not a sticker which is very nice. You can easily take this off and this is actually the final thing you build in the set. You actually build this uh, donut shop fairly early. Um, there's an action feature with this donut so you can just put it back on top and if you notice this level here, if you press this level it will push the donut off the roof. Next, we take a look at this toy shop. Uh, the exterior is a bit bland uh, compared to the uh, donut shop. and It does have an interior as well, which have a um, couple of toys. So you got this uh, teddy bear, and also a guitar, and also a cab with a propeller and a train. You also get a um, cash register here. And that's it for the toy shop. You don't get much action feature apart from the door that like you can open. I mean, the only good thing is that uh, you get another um, teddy bear piece, which is always nice to get. Other than that, it feels like just there uh, to increase the piece count. And now we're going to take a look at this crane truck. Um, so the build is two separate builds. Uh, you first build the truck, and then at the end, you're going to finish off uh, with this crane here. First, we're going to take a look at the truck. I really like um, the design of the truck, and I like uh, that they use this orange color. Uh, so you've got some nice details like the side mirrors and this uh, muffler here. And to my surprise, you can also um, fit two minifigures inside the truck, which is really nice to have. And now we're going to take a look at the crane. I really like the way they use the chain over here. And the stand itself is actually hidden from here. And you just put it out uh, to make it more stable. And obviously uh, the crane uh, is adjustable. So uh, with this view here, you, you can see some gear. And I think uh, it's built very smartly. So if you go uh, clockwise, um, then it's try to... Um, going down and if you go anti-clockwise then it will start go up so let's see and you as you can see you know the crane now going up fairly slowly and now you might ask what the heck is this uh, so this is actually for the donut so you can actually put the donut here so what's the story behind the set is because it's a donut shop opening so um, this truck is transporting uh, this donut piece uh, for the uh, top of the shop um, and then you got this crane uh, to put this donut up on top of the shop so here is how you um, keep the donut uh, on the crane using uh, the chain piece over here and the arm here can be extended just by pulling it out and you also get to build a taxi in this set I don't like this uh, taxi too much. I feel the taxi a bit too narrow. Even the interior is a bit small, even though you can fit two minifigures. Uh, the driver 
and one passenger. Having said that, I really like the、uh, color scheme of the taxi. And you also get to build this TV broadcast fan, and I think this is an excellent fan compared to taxi. I think Lego put a lot more effort in the design of the fan. I like that the fan is, looks a bit wider, and、um, even the looks itself does really capture most of those、uh, fan. And you can easily modify this as an ambulance or any other kind of delivery truck. And you even get some、uh, very detailed interior for this broadcast fan. And you also get two bikes in the set. So one is this、uh, police motorcycle, and then you also get this、uh, coffee bike. Believe it or not, I think this is the best build in this set. I really like all the details that they put into this bike. So you got like. Uh, the cookies, the muffin, and also two takeout cup. You even get this、uh, coffee dispenser and a menu. Again, it said croissant, but like you don't see any croissant、uh, on the、uh, bike itself. And they use this、uh, new piece,、uh, which you might have seen in the、uh, people pack,、um, the the fun fair one. But that one is selling ice cream, so I think this is an excellent build, and I really like it. So this set comes with ten minifigures. First, we take a look at the、uh, policeman,、uh, the thief, and the taxi driver.、Uh, so the policeman seems to be a character with name. So、uh, on the box, it mentions、uh, this character is called Duke Detain.、Uh, the torso is new, the face print is new, and you also got this、uh, new hairstyle. It's not exclusive to this set,、uh, but it's a quite a new hairstyle which I quite like. And also get this.、Uh, A robber.、Um, so nothing new here.、Um, I think this face print is new, but it's very typical that、uh, every time、uh, the Lego thieves they wearing a prisoner outfit under any other jacket they're wearing. And for the taxi driver,、um, the torso is not new,、uh, but you do get a new color of this、uh, baseball cap. And for Duke Detain, you do get a、uh, alternate face expression,、um, which look. Really nice. I really like this face, and he's the only minifigure、uh, with、uh, an alternate face in this set. And the other minifigures are this、uh, kid here with a、uh, skateboard. So、uh, this lady is supposed to be his mom, and you got this、uh, truck driver here, and you get this two employees、uh, from the donut shop. So it's nothing new here, but it's always good to get、um, this、uh, barista torso. And finally, we have the、uh, TV crew. So I guess you get the newscaster、uh, that is reporting、uh, the opening of the donut shop, and you've got this cameraman、uh, with this、uh, TV camera. Let's just take off his camera so you can see his face. Let's say for a typical. Face that you get in the most other Lego set, and it's nice that they use this、uh, torso again, which is introduced from the Ninjago movie series. But I really like、um, torso with you know stadium jacket. It's quite useful. Overall, I think this is a good set. It does contain some very interesting and nice、uh, element and build inside、um, the set. However, I do feel like、um, the taxi, the toy shop. It's a bit, you know, just try to、um, increase the piece count to justify the hundred and sixty thousand dollars price tag. Other than that, I think、uh, the donut shop here is very nice. I like how they、uh, put in the details inside、uh, the interior, and then you've got this very nice、uh, donut here with great action feature、uh, with the crane and even. On the top of the、uh, donut shop, but for me, my favorite part is definitely、um, this coffee bike here. On top of that, you also get ten very interesting minifigures. I do recommend you get this set if you're able to get a discount because at hundred sixty New Zealand dollars, I think it's a bit overpriced、uh, considering、um, the toy shop and the taxi is a bit bland、uh, compared to other more interesting. Elements in the set. 
Let me know what you think about this set in the comment section below. If you like my video, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updates. I'll see you next time.